19 months into the pandemic, and it's not just toilet paper that people are having a hard time getting a hold of. All right, nearly every product in the grocery store is experiencing some degree of shortage, and that problem poses a big problem if you get ready to do your holiday shopping in the coming weeks. Now, the reasons behind the shortages vary, and unlike early in the pandemic, most of it does not have to do with hoarding. Very interesting. Joining us, the director of sales for Morton Williams Supermarket, Steve Schwartz. Nice to have you on Good Day, New York. Good morning, Rosanna. Good morning, Bianca. How are you today? We're great. So, Steve, tell us how you guys are doing at Morton Williams. What are you experiencing right now? Well, we're experiencing a lot of what you've been hearing on the news and, you know, on the radio and everything. Uh, there are shortages across all categories, uh, not limited to one commodity, but it's pretty much everything and anything in the store. Uh, the reasons are different. Some of the reasons are based on uh, raw materials like glass or plastic, uh, the limited supply, um, but a lot of it has to do with labor. Uh, companies are short-staffed uh, from the beginning of the process in the production line, in the facilities, to the transportation of the goods, and even to when you get to uh, our stores, uh, labor is an issue. And, you know, when you have, you know, increased demand on items coupled with labor shortages, it just equates in delays in whether it's at the ports, like what you were showing before, or just local transportation, you know, across the country. So Steve, tell us exactly some of the things that, you know, I don't want you to get us nervous now, but some of the things that you're short on and are you trying to stockpile them in other ways? Well, what we've done is we've tried to use a lot of common sense and, you know, we've been in these trenches of the pandemic for quite a while now. And, you know, we've learned over the last 18 months to anticipate things and kind of plan for the worst. So um, with limited availability on items. Like, we, like, uh, um, like. Oh boy, where do you, Rosanna, where do you want to start? Do you to want to, toilet paper? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's everything. It, it's, it's everything. Items you wouldn't think like cream cheese, whereas you know, our supplier is pro will probably be shorted over 25% of what they would normally get going into the holiday time. Uh, gravy right now is an issue. I know there are brands that are on hold. And what we did was we planned for this probably about six or seven weeks ago with our primary supplier. We put in uh, orders uh, based on when quantities were going to arrive in the warehouse, you know, to get it into our well, stores Steve, early so we would have it for everyone. I do want to ask a question just because I know when we talk about shortages um, on the news or in social media, we tend to exacerbate the problem and that's when people go out and start buying too much Rice Krispie treats or Sour Patch Kids or some Ben and Jerry's ice creams, which we have listed as some of the things that we're kind of short on. So I just want to ask though, but before the pandemic, out of stock items at grocery stores and big box stores, they were already at around seven to ten percent. So where are you at right now? Just so we can see I, the big picture. I, I would probably say that's almost doubled at a minimum Ooh. without having any, you know, concrete information right in front of me. And then but, and then when you're dealing with this, you're talking about a shortage of things so that demand goes up, which increases the prices, correct? Correct. So then what can customers kind of, uh, what's a good news for customers? If prices are going up and you're, you're at a shortage of some things, we just want to make sure there's a I, silver lining in all of this at some point. Uh, right now, I believe in the short term, um, you know, the inflation is real, the shortages are real, and uh, it's going to be a while before we start pulling out of this. I don't think there's any short term fix to it. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we have increased lead times for purchasing. Uh, you've had weather issues across the country, which create delays. We still have a lot of labor issues. In addition, we're still dealing with the pandemic. Right. So, you know, you couple all of these things, you know, plus you had mentioned the demand, the demand on items have increased over fourfold on things. And, it, it, it just really creates a tough situation. So, Steve, you know, has the supermarket started trying to 
kind of counteract this by going to other suppliers, like secu uh, securing your own private freight ships? And how much has that cost you if you have gone a different route? Well, being Manhattan-based supermarket, we don't have our own warehouses similar to the big box stores. So what we've done, and it is one of our advantages right now, we've re relied heavily on using multiple distributors for items. We do have a primary supplier, but if that particular company was out of an item right now, we can go to our secondary or tertiary supplier to, um, to get what we need. We also started planning well in advance. A lot of the big items uh, for us that we, you know, for the fourth quarter, we started buying and committing uh, back in June. And a lot of that freight was already on the ocean coming here or coming across country prior to this really bubbling over. Gotcha, all right. Mm -hmm. One last thing, Steve, tips Certainly. for people who uh, are planning on having Thanksgiving or the holidays at home, um, what should they be getting right now so that they can make sure their, their family celebrations are good? Well, you know, not to sound redundant to what I've heard before, but, you know, use a lot of common sense. You, you know, plan. And if there are shortages out there or limited supplies of item, you see your favorite item out there, stock up on it now. I will tell you, um, turkeys, our frozen turkeys for our stores, we're good with all sizes. We bought already, they're actually in our warehouse, we'll, we'll be fine with that. When you come to the fresh turkeys, um, with more Thanksgiving dinners going on with smaller gatherings, you know, there might be some uh, limited availability on under 16 pound turkeys fresh. So if you see it now, get it, and um, it'll all be fine. I like that. It will all be fine. That is some great advice. We hope so. Steve Schwartz, <laughs> uh, the director of Morton Williams Supermarkets. Thanks so much. Thanks, Rosanna. Thanks, Bianca. Great talking to you. Nice talking to you. Of course.